Hello, it's Sonimik. In today's video, I will show you how to replace one of the engine mounts that holds the engine in the engine bay without falling off the engine. I did a video about how to replace upper engine mount, but with upper engine mount, you don't have any risk of engine falling off. So in today's video, I will show you an easy trick how to replace mount like that at home without spending too much. How we know that engine mount damage? Well, the engine slightly lower to the right side, but make sure to do that on a flat surface. And second, you will be able to feel engine vibrating too much. Here's the vibrator tester, we're gonna compare it after replacing engine mount to see how much difference we make. So the engine must be raised up that much. Driver side engine mount responsible to hold the engine and transmission weight, so it's very common to be replaced before the other side. In order to remove that mount, we need to remove fuse box and the battery to get access to the engine mount. That might be different for your car, maybe you will have filter box that need to be removed before getting access to the engine mount. So we're gonna need 19 and 50mm socket, I'm just gonna loosen the bolts up. Next we're gonna go under the car and lift the right side of the engine by half an inch. I know most of you don't have a jack like that, so I'm not gonna use that, I will use my car's jack. Now the right side of the engine's weight on the jack nut on the engine mount. We can remove the bolt without having the engine falling off. So always support the engine with the jack before replacing engine mount, especially right on the left side of the engine. Ok, engine mount free, we can take it out now. The old one has too much play, but the new one not that much. The old one has too much gap than the new one, that's why the engine was slightly lower to the right side. Always clean the area before putting everything back. New engine mount on, hand tie the bolts before using any tool to prevent from cross threading. And then I'm gonna torque 19 and 50mm bolts by 50 and 29 pound feet of torque. We are almost done with the engine mount. Let's remove the jack, we don't need it anymore. Next I'm gonna put everything back and see how much difference new mount makes. Finally we are done, let's do our tests. Leveling it appears to just like the floor, that's good. And the vibration test? We have less vibration now. And here's the before and after tests. Now you can differentiate good and bad engine mount and how to replace it at home without using expensive tool. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.